hello guys uh, this is atif mahmood and this is assignment 4a for the processor and i am going to demonstrate how to take the processor off uh, from a motherboard and if you ever run into any issue such as if your processor died or if it's getting overheat and you need to analyze it so that's how you will probably need to do it so let's start with uh, first you first thing you want to make sure that once you are ready to take processor off you want to make sure you turn off the power so you see that the motherboard is still getting the power so you go back in there and take that power cord off once you do that its power is still there so you want to go and recycle completely power off there we go just hold it for a few seconds at least five to ten seconds so the, when it disappears now we are ready to take processor off it is ideal to uh, have all the power cables unplugged you could still get actually uh, power from the monitor so it's ideal to plug the DVI cable and rest of it and once you are ready to take processor off if you have a tool to ground your PC it's a good you can attach it here otherwise just um, go ahead and take first we want to take that fan lead off so we can easily pull that out there you go so when this come out see there are four holders that are attached to motherboard so you can also actually just move them to right or could you could use a flat you could use a flat screwdriver like this one and right over here and turn them to your right that unlocks them so you have to do that with each of them there we go okay so once you have that gently pull all of these out and that way your processor should easily be coming out there we go it's off the hook so make sure the heat sink and the fan is backwards you don't want to use put upside down because it has compound on it so next thing is to press that lifter little down and let it go so it will release the power and the bracket top on of it then you can gently pull the processor out you want to be really real for it because pins on the motherboards are really sensitive so here is the processor uh, on the top of it actually when you purchase a new processor it looks totally different so here we are going to talk about the processor what kind of processor it is so let me hold for it while I have uh, cleaned this processor with uh, the tissue paper so we can read it clear not sure how clear you can see on this processor anyways this is actually a intel core i3 and the processor model is right over here uh, my camera is having issues trying to capture the information on it it's actually good a camera for some reason it doesn't want to count anything but i can grab the box that came it with and provide more information uh, that would be easy to read so it's basically a i3 processor and it's 3.4 gigahertz and uh, it is actually a very good processor and the socket on is 1155 with with the gen 4 so let me grab the box so we can talk further about it so this is the box that processor came in so if you read the information on it it is a two core and four ways multi task processing and also it has a functionality of hyper threading 
and it does also smart cache technology integrated memory controller supports ddr channel 3 memory and it also has a three year warranty on it so it is actually a good processor to be installed i3 processors and they probably work pretty good in the motherboards so now we are going to put that processor back and bring the workstation back you want to make sure you put some compound cooling that the compound we use between the processor and the heat sink what it does actually when the processor is processing and it gets overheat so this compound it helps to keep processor cool down so I'll install that processor back and you could see there are further more fans installed so before you put back you want to make sure you put it right the way those small brackets are ever supposed to go hold that and there you go make sure you lift that lever and put it back in there and usually you do not clean the compound from the processor I just did for sh to show you guys that so we could get actually to processor to see what kind of processor it is so once you do that let me I will need both hands to push that fan back so I'm gonna pause it for a second I have just finished installing this processor back make sure it's tight sitting right on the processor so let's check the display here we go press the power back pull all the keyboard mice in and the DVI cable so we can check the display or any errors usually when the processor is not sitting right we have the motherboard power let's turn it on see what we get on display there we go I see the post a new CPU install setup so you press F1 uh, even though if it wasn't just the brand new one installed but whenever you reset it it takes it off and uh, it will tell you a new processor is installed so there we go this completes the video creating uh, activity for processors and this is for chapter 4 thank you for watching this video